The State Department of Health announced its latest effort to grow the EMS field thanks to a $150,000 grant from the Shapiro administration. Yeah, the program is aimed at encouraging more high schoolers to consider careers in emergency medical services. Fox 43's Sydney Nauman spoke to EMS officers who explained how the money could lead to better health care for Pennsylvania residents. A call for help could soon be answered by high school students. The Department of Health has announced $150,000 in grant funding from the Shapiro administration to encourage growth in EMS education programs. The goal? Getting first responders the help they need to do their jobs. So the EMS personnel shortage across the nation is a growing crisis that threatens the ability for us to provide life-saving care. The American Ambulance Association reported a 36% turnover rate for full-time EMTs and 27% for full-time paramedics in 2022. Sean Watrous with Mannheim Township Ambulance Association in Lancaster County says that can impact how fast first responders arrive at your door. The constant turnover of employees definitely affects uh, the community's health care because if we don't have staff to, to come out and do the job, um, we have less ambulances in the street. Which is why the $150,000 investment will be used to help fund pilot programs encouraging more high schoolers to explore careers in the EMS field and serve their community. Pennsylvania's Secretary of Health Deborah Bogan said in a statement, Having a well-trained and dedicated EMS professional arriving at your door 24-7 in an emergency is a safeguard all Pennsylvanians deserve. The application period for schools ends October 16th. Three institutions will then be awarded $50,000 each to implement their pilot programs however they see fit. Watrous says the increase in trained EMS professionals is worth the wait. Training individuals to become EMTs and paramedics um, is a great way to get them into the workforce um, and allow us a bigger pool to pull an interview from. Answering the call for help and filling a need. Sydney Nauman, Fox 43 News.